C++, a high-level compiled statically typed object-oriented general purpose programming language used for high-speed applications and notoriously hard to learn. It was created in 1979 by Bjorn Stoustrup at ATAT Bell Labs after he had a problem analysing the Unix kernel which was written in C. Stoustrup, being a legend he is, decided to enhance the C language with similar-like features giving developers the power of classes whilst keeping the high speed and performance of C. Since C++ is an extension of C, every C program is also a valid C++ program, but it adds zero overhead abstraction for object-oriented patterns like inheritance polymorphism morphism, encapsulation and abstraction, which allows you to write fast and maintainable code. It has its own standard library which includes things like I.O. handling, data structures or common algorithms. It does take a long time for new features to make it into this standard library such as the network NTS which I am expecting since C++17 but we'll now be lucky to get it in C++23. Fortunately there are a lot of legends out there that decided to take it upon themselves and release a bunch of open source libraries that you can use for just about anything like Norlam JSON, which is a nice way of handling JSON objects, Boost Azure for networking, or Boost Beast for HTTP and WebSocket servers. Boost is one of the most commonly used libraries in C++ and many of its features have made it into the official standard libraries such as Smart Pointer. C++ is used in a wide variety of systems with constrained hardware demands like Unity or Unreal game engines, the whole of Adobe suite that was used to create this video, the back-end servers that are streaming this video, embedded systems like your washing machine or even the Mars rover. It is used all over the place and you're constantly interacting with applications that have been written with it. Get started by downloading a compiler like Clang or GCC and then create a file with the CPP extension. Every C++ program has a main entry point function returning the status code of int. We can output stuff to the console using the stdc out followed by the bitwise shift operator. We need to import IO stream as this is part of the standard library. To avoid writing std you can include the namespace saving you a few extra keystrokes but the real power comes with classes. Create an abstract class called employee with a constructor and a virtual destructor. The destructor has to be marked as virtual to avoid the diamond inheritance problem where the object could be destroyed twice by child objects leading to errors. Add a print function that takes a string to output to the console and a virtual money function that at the moment does nothing but will be overridden later we can inherit from the employee class and override the money function. You can manage the memory of your program by using raw pointers, but usually you'd want to use smart pointers to avoid shooting yourself in the foot. Create an instance of a class and compile using Clang++. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.